is Bob Cusack joins us now from the Hill where he's editor in chief with his political analysis. Lauren will talk about the legal implications and where the case may go from here if there is a case and we expect there Bob obviously uh, to be one but the significance of the president's first veto. I did have 12 Republican senators who um, rejected his emergency declaration and now he's overriding them essentially. Yeah, that's right. I mean, 25 in total, 13 in the House, 12 in the Senate, but an overwhelming majority of Republicans supported the president. Mm -hmm. and, and, and let's not be confused here. Like, President Trump has not lost his grip on this party. Uh, he, his record in primaries is incredible. Uh, I think this is the exception to the rule. And clearly, President Trump going on offense here. Uh, having this press, uh, press conference, having the new attorney general there, I thought that was that was pretty significant because obviously he's going to take the lead uh, in the courts. As, but as you said, mm -hmm. this is not going to be decided by Congress. It's going to be decided by the courts. By the way, that is an interesting point you make going on offense. A, we see bill signing ceremonies all the time, but <laughs> veto ceremonies. I mean, we don't see very many vetoes, obviously, but that in, of itself a little bit uh, a little bit strange. And obviously, there was a, a political calculus to doing this on on television in public and the Oval Office and all the rest, right? Yeah, that's right. And I think this this plays into 2020, which of course has already started. And and I think President Trump is going to be making the case. Listen, we've started the wall. Now we need to finish it. And certainly, the wall is not going to be finished uh, by the time the fall of 2020 rolls around. So uh, I do think this is something that the president thinks that actually mm -hmm. will help him uh, on the campaign trail. And he loves to talk about it. It was his number one issue after no all doubt. in 2016. No doubt. So no matter how it ends up in the courts, is that your point? Because one of the uh, key parts to me, again, politically that stood out for the president in this you know, these comments that we heard from him, he was going on at one point about how, you know, I was elected by all these wonderful people and um, they wanted security for our country. And he was alluding to just that, the, the build the wall comments and how important uh, this was to his campaign and, and still is presumably, Bob, to his base. Yeah, that's right. And, and let's say he loses this court case. And I think it's a jump ball of whether he wins or loses in the courts. He's still going to be able to make the case. Listen, I, I tried uh, to do this declaration, uh, but now we need more Republicans in Congress. You need to reelect me so we can finish the job and go through the normal appropriation process to finish the wall. So it certainly plays into his campaign theme, regardless of what happens in the courts. All right, Bob, good to see you. Bob Cusack from The Hill in our Thank Washington you. newsroom today.